Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney and in today's crystal video, I'm super excited to talk about the light workers crystal, Apophyllite. So let's get ready to dive into today's crystal video. So some key words that are related to Apophyllite are interdimensional awareness, purification, uplifting, and light. The chakras that are associated with Apophyllite are the third eye chakra and the crown chakra. You'll see Apophyllite forming in like a pyramid shape, which I think is really cool. This is how these uh, crystals are structured. Um, but they also can be like a druzy crystal on a mineral, they can form in clusters, or they could just be a big massive form. Also, another type of apophyllite is green apophyllite, which is just the green version of it. <laughs> so right off the bat, I just want to say that this crystal apophyllite is really, really, really cool. And if you're new to crystal healing or light work, Reiki, all that kind of stuff, meditation even, um, what I'm about to say can sound a little intense, I guess you could say, but I just wanted to give you a little warning that, you know, it's, it's definitely something that's trippy, I feel like. The Apophyllite stone meaning is based on its ability to cleanse the mind and body of negative psychic debris. The Apophyllite crystal stimulates your pineal gland, which then helps you open up to spiritual awakening by infusing your light body with high vibrational energy. These crystals have an amazing ability to transmute their energy. It's really great if you could have a couple of them in your room because they really uplift the energy. So I'm going to show you some Apophyllite crystals that I have. Um, while I show you these, I'm going to be reading more about the use of Apophyllite. Uh, but the first one I'm going to show you is this beautiful Apophyllite that I have. I really love it. It's um, actually, it has still bite with it. So that pinkish kind of color with the white clustery apophyllite, it's called still bite and it's like very harmonious with um, apophyllite. I learned about that recently actually. But um, basically the flow of spiritual light they convey to you from the higher realms brings hope for the future and also helps you to release negative thought patterns that may be holding you back. Apophyllite stones are powerful to aid you to become spiritually uplifted. In particular, these crystals will stimulate the area of your third eye chakra, intensifying your inner vision and clearing any blockages in the crown chakra. Once you have cleared any blockages, apophyllite will start to fully resonate with the high spiritual vibration, allowing yourself to gently move upwards onto the path to higher realms. As you travel upwards via the eighth chakra, also known as the soul star chakra, you may make contact with beings in the higher realms. These light beings will become aware of your energy and may come forward to make contact with you. Traveling in these realms can create an amazing experience and by expanding your inner vision, open you up to utilize a great number of your spiritual gifts. So I know that sounds a little whoa, like what, what's going on here? But basically, Apophyllite is like a major tool for you to use in meditation if you wanna reach a higher consciousness. That light that's shooting you up into higher consciousness is where you're able to talk with spirit. Another way to get into that higher consciousness if you just don't wanna fully just meditate is you can look into your crystal and gaze into it, which is called scrying. <laughs> I just learned about this recently. But basically you'll hold your apophyllite and you'll just gaze into it, kind of like just get lost in it and you'll notice little things, little doorways, maybe opening up in your mind. You might see rainbows and you just really go with that flow. And once you're in there, that's where you are open to receiving messages from above, from your spirit guides, from your angels and your ancestors really. I've definitely gotten to a very deep meditation while gazing into an apophyllite crystal. And I will say that I did feel like I received some messages from my ancestors. Um, I definitely want to try this again to really, you know, practice this because I think it's such a great tool to use. Apophyllite is like super popular with crystal healers and Reiki masters and light workers because they're able to really just like go into that higher consciousness with you and also go into your past. 
Um, a lot of practitioners will use apophyllite to do past life recalls, um, to dive into the Akashic records. I think I said that right. Um, but it's just like a really great, you know, tool to, to like go interdimensional traveling, I guess you could say. Um, that's what it's most known for, and I think it's definitely a cool trippy element with uh, crystal healing. I think it's a really cool tool to use if you're trying to get into deeper meditations, really access like your higher consciousness. This is your go-to stone, and it's really, really amazing. And I will say I have had this in my, in my apartment. Um, I have two of them, so I'll have them in different ends of the apartment. And I just feel like it really like makes the energy better like in my apartment. I'm feeling like a lot, you know, like just clearance. I feel like it's like clearing and cleansing the air. And I also just feel like it's just good energy around me. I also have a couple new plants and it's said that green apophyllite is really good to have with your plants. So I definitely feel like that's helping as well. <laughs> All right, so that's it for my Apophyllite Crystal video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Little, little cool, I would say, a little bit out there. Um, if you've ever gone into like a deep meditation with Apophyllite, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time.